Hello guys, this is TheHacker13, and in this video, I'll be showing you on how to change the boot logo of your iPod Touch or iPhone on firmware 3.1.3. Now, for this tutorial, you need, your iPod Touch or iPhone needs to be on firmware 3.1.3 and jailbroken already. Now, this works for the iPod Touch first generation, the iPod Touch second generation, the iPhone first generation, known as the iPhone 2G, and the iPhone second generation, known as the iPhone 3G. This does not work for the iPod Touch 2nd Generation MC model or the iPhone 3GS, not even the old boot ROM. does not work for the iPhone 3GS, so do not try this. So, if your iPod Touch or iPhone isn't already jailbroken on firmware 3.1.3, then I'll have an annotation somewhere on the screen starting now. And if you click that annotation, um, it will show a video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone on firmware 3.1.3 which was made by me. So if your iPod Touch or iPhone isn't already jailbroken on firmware 3.1.3, click that annotation or just click the link in the description. Okay, so once your iPod Touch is already jailbroken on firmware 3.1.3, you can move on to the next step of this video, which is to download the 3.1.2 firmware for your iPod Touch or iPhone. So you want to go to this website and the link will be in the description to the right of this video. And under iPhone and iPod Touch, you want to click the arrow and look for your device, and it should be supported for this video, and click 3.1.2, not 3.1.3, 3.1.2. So I have the iPod Touch second generation, so I'll look for iPod Touch 2G and 3.1.2. I would select that, and I would click download. So once you have it downloaded, save the firmware file to your desktop, as you can see I already do right here. Once you've done that, you can move on to the next step which is download the custom boot image. So you can do that by going to this website and I'll put the link in the description and you look for one that you like. So there's multiple pages and you, you have to make sure that whatever image you use it's in PNG format. I've noticed that a few images on this website are not in PNG format and you might have to change it in Photoshop but if you don't have Photoshop or you don't know how look for an image that's in PNG format and the way to tell is I'll show you in just a second. So I'll select this image by right clicking well, first open it, and then I'll right click, and I'll select Save Image As, and I'll save it to my desktop. And if it is PNG, if it is in PNG format, it will save. It will say right there, PNG image. So I'll just hit Save, and I already have it, so I'll just replace it. And I'll just do a quick download, and it should not take long. Now the next step is to download Red Snow, but I already have it. And if you jailbroke 3.1.3, then you probably already have Red Snow, unless you use snow breeze so if you don't have red snow yet go to the link go to the description and it'll look something like this it'll say these links are for these devices only windows mac and it'll say these links are for these devices only windows mac so as you can see these links are for the ipod touch second generation non mc only so you want it if you have the ipod touch second generation non mc like me you'd want to download these if you have the iPhone first generation, known as the iPhone 2G, or the iPhone second generation, known as the iPhone 3G, or the iPod Touch first generation, you'd want to download whichever operating system you had from these. So once you have Red Snow downloaded, once you have Red Snow downloaded and the boot logo and the firmware 3.1.2 for your device on your desktop, you can move on to the next step, which is opening Red Snow. So now you click Browse and select the 3.1.2 firmware and click Open. So now this obviously does not work for the MC models, so you just click no, and then click next. And it'll do a few things. So now remember, if your iPod Touch or iPhone is already jailbroken and you have a whole bunch of stuff on it already, then you can do this and everything will be the same except for the boot logo. So you want to unselect install Cydia because everything that you already have, you don't want to erase it all by reinstalling Cydia. You want to click already pwned. You want to click custom boot logo and select the PNG um, image and it should get it right but if it is um, more than 100 kilobytes then it will not accept it or you may have to decrease the image size. Once you have that click next. Now it's going to ask you to connect your device in recovery mode. So now I'm going to go to the camera to show you guys how to do this. Alright guys so the next part of this video is to plug in your iPod touch or iPhone to the computer using a USB cable.